Well, earlier today, Eric Shu, one of the rotating chairmen of Huawei, took to the stage to take the wraps of Huawei's new AI strategy. He unveiled two new chipsets, what, the, what they're naming the Ascend 910 and the Ascend 310. The first is aimed at chips in data centers as more cloud computing happens, as more companies move to the cloud. Those data processes are getting more intense. They need to be more energy efficient. And that's what that first chip is aimed at. The second is really aimed at all the connected devices coming in line, smartwatches, smartphones, all the home appliances as well that are becoming internet connected. And that's where Huawei is hoping to make a play at the chip level. Now, Eric Shu was on stage, as I mentioned earlier, and he gave us a little insight into what Huawei thinks about its new AI strategy. Let's take a listen. We intend to develop a full-stack, independent AI portfolio. Second, we intend to invest resources into this project and make it into an open ecosystem where industries and sectors all over the world can tap into. With this, we can improve the value and competitiveness of the goods and services provided. I just want to dig into a little bit about what Huawei means by full stack by giving you the context of their AI strategy so far. They've dipped their toe into it with their smartphones. They have a, a number of chips in a series called the Kirin, which are in, uh, are in their current smartphones, and the new chip will be in their upcoming smartphone, the Mate 20. That's been consumer-focused. That's been smartphone-focused. But the new chips today are really aimed at a broader market, that of the enterprise space, and also some new consumer applications as well. Huawei is a company that offers cloud computing, it offers network equipment, it also offers consumer devices and it's hoping these new, new chips will help to mold all that together and create an ecosystem where Huawei can not only offer the hardware but also the software and services around cloud and artificial intelligence applications as well and that's really what they're hoping to do. This uh, new chip, the uh, Sen 910, will be out in the second quarter of uh, 2019 and Huawei said it is aiming to sell these two third parties that potentially are buying data servers uh, around the world uh, and any of these new applications as well. It's hoping that this will continue to give it some growth over the next few years as artificial intelligence becomes more pervasive and as more companies invest in that technology. Guys, back to you. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.